guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, still here on Exmoor and today I'm heading off up the top around here, around the gorse, around some of the bushing areas, hopefully to pick up some black cap. Further down into the oak woodland I've heard the wood warbler yesterday singing when I was on a walk. So I'm going to head down there as well and do a bit of with, with the wood warbler if I can. There's also red starts around and the pie flies again. So lots and lots of spring migrants here. So just going to head off down into the valley a little bit, up through the woodlands, up back the top, and just basically cover this whole area today um, on a bit of a recce to see what's about. So primarily today, bird photography, and uh, hopefully we'll get a few shots in the bag. All been well. I don't know if you can hear, got a lovely willow warbler singing there and there's a chiff just up here. It's alive with warblers up here today. We've got black cap, chiff chaff, willow warbler, lovely to hear. Such a lovely, lovely song. Right, got to plod on, got a few miles till I get there. So uh, yeah, less distractions, let's get on with it. So I've just stopped here at the minute and um, a bird which I'm not sure what it is. <clears throat> I'm thinking it might be a red star. Start to call again hopefully. Very nice call, I'm not sure that is. Sounds like a warbler of some sort, but I'm just not sure. So I've got a red star a male right above me in the trees. Singing away. I do not see these birds at all. Um, God, what a beautiful song. Amazing. There's a wood warbler further down as well. This isn't the spot that I was going to come to, but... I think I'm gonna have to spend some time with these guys because uh, that is a beautiful bird. Now to set up somewhere. So I've currently got the red star, probably about 20 foot away, singing away there, but it's heavily silhouetted. Um, such in the wrong position, but I've just done a little bit of video there of just it singing silhouetted. Um, just needed to move around um, out of the, uh, the silhouette. Such a beautiful looking bird. It's just flown over there. singing all around me at the moment. Um, what a beautiful song that is. Beyond my time of being a wildlife photographer, I've only ever captured one shot of a red star. So what a delightful little bird. I'm over the moon. It's getting quite used to me now, it's just flying around me. Magical. Deep in an oak woodland, nobody about. Ravens overhead, red start, singing away. Happy days, happy days. Beautiful sound of a raven. And a red start. Thing really is in full swing at the minute and I don't want to leave this little guy he's absolutely superb and he's been getting 20 foot from me 
sitting here, bold as brass, no hide. Just let the bird relax and accept you. Happy days. I don't know if they're relatively shy birds, really. Um, certainly not bothered about me at all. I've got some nice little shots of, um, of, of the male anyway, but I think it's the experience really of a new bird like that. I mean, if I'd have heard that call, I'd have thought black cap, but always good. Have a good pair of bins with you. Home in on the call, find out where it is, get your bins on it. And uh, yeah, great. Wasn't sure if I'd find a red start today, but because they're not abundant here, they're, they're not. This is a class as a common bird, but not to me they're not, jeez. now is um, leave this little guy alone. I've been with him for probably about 40 minutes. Uh, I've got a few shots in the bag and uh, a bit of video as well to show you, um, which I'm really pleased with because it's a tiny bird and I don't get to see it, so it's a bit of a treat. Um, I can hear a, a wood warbler calling down the bottom. It's quite a, a slope down there, but I think I'm gonna head down and have a go for a, a lovely little wood warbler, beautiful birds and another one we don't really get in Cornwall. Um, you get them on Dartmoor, Yarna Wood. Apart from that, down my way, not at all. Um, and people say warblers are just little brown things. I mean, these are beautiful. The coloration, the green in them, the yellowy green is just amazing. Such a lovely, lovely, what's that? I saw a tawny owl then. No such luck though. But anyway, I'll leave this little guy alone now to his business and uh, head off. set myself in a position here and there's an old broken branch down there and they sometimes like to sing out in the open on a branch so I'm hoping maybe this guy, his territory in here could be a position that it could um, advertise, that's a little contact call there not its full song but it's flitting around up there it's a lovely bird Such a tricky bird, this one. It's going to be a nightmare to photograph. That's its beautiful song there. Beautiful. They have a lovely bit of a finish on the end, but it's so hard to find it in the trees. Oh, where is it? That's got to be close. Oh, 
this is difficult to find. Gosh. Come on, little fella, where are you? I cannot for life miss you with this birdie. That's a lovely bit at the end of the goal there. Beautiful. This is going to be hard to photograph. Amazing. Just needs it to show itself now a bit. This is a very difficult bird to track. It really is. Um, it's right in front of me. I've stuck the uh, 1.4 tele on, so I've got 700 mil now, and the light's not bad. But it's just flitting around right in front of me here. It's great. Such a great little bird. Um, God, jeez. Ooh, it's hard work though. What a lovely song though, beautiful. Well guys, it's been a cracking morning so far. Um, you know, got up here, been up here two, three hours now and um, straight into Red Start, still calling. And then obviously down for Wood Warbler as well, straight into some Wood Warbler. Lovely little bird, very small, but managed to get hopefully some pretty decent shots and a bit of video there as well. So uh, really pleased with that. I had to do a lot of slow-mo video because they don't sit still for very long. So um, trying to chase it around with uh, filming at uh, normal speed, 60 frames, it's just, yeah, it was a bit difficult, but um, just had a quick brew and a, and a biscuit and uh, yeah, really good. Um, Going to head up onto the, like the gorsy, heathy area shortly. I uh, keep hearing a cuckoo up there, so I thought doing quite well so far, which is nice that I got into the two birds I wanted when I was up here. Um, in fact, the three birds was the pied fly, the wood warbler and uh, the red start. Yeah, and got all three, so um, chuffed to bits really. A cuckoo would be a nice thing on the cake, a bit of a nemesis bird for me. And I've seen some outstanding pictures recently on uh, social media with um, with some cuckoo pictures. And not just Colin the cuckoo, the tame one, but you know some damn fine pictures. And they're not the easiest birds to take pictures of. So I'm going to go and give those a go and see what else is about. Uh, many birds of prey up there and stuff. Yeah, so I've got another, I don't know, four, five, six hours if I want. Um, so I'm going to make the most of it while the going's good. and. Uh, yeah, head back down, download images, and um, tomorrow head home. But it's been fantastic, really enjoyed it, and the weather's been great, and it's just, yeah, it's an awesome place. So if you ever fancy checking out Exmoor National Park for uh, wildlife photography in May especially, and in October, yeah, it's really, really worth, worth a, a visit.
Well guys, that concludes this uh, morning and slightly into lunch session. Um, it's been awesome. Red starts, wood warbler, I've had buzzards, I've had white throat, I've had willow warblers, I've had black caps. It's been phenomenal. Really, really good sesh. So you probably spent about five hours out. Uh, I'm gonna get back, download the images, charge up some batteries, and then head out later this afternoon with some dipper action, all being well. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And if you don't already subscribe to the channel and you fancy giving it a go, please click that subscribe button, click that bell to be notified of any new vlogs coming your way. And uh, for those that do subscribe, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all next time.